I'm back. Please tell everyone to discuss our marriage. I'll be set up a time to meet. Who's that? That's my brother. Andrew, your boss. Well, his real name's John Michael Townsend, but everyone just calls him Jack for short. That's my husband's name. He's single. No, oh, you can't, because you married. Unfortunately. You know what? It's kind of cute that your grandma set you up with your friend's grandkid, even if it's weird. Yeah, while I do appreciate my grandma's attentions, it is very weird being married to a stranger. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he looks like, but he could be like, so hot. Or he could be like a complete uggo. You know, Jimmy, it really doesn't matter what he looks like, okay? I haven't heard from the guy in like two years, which is part of the reason why I came back. <gasps> oh my God, wait, you're gonna meet him? No, I came back to divorce with you. I'm back. Please tell everyone to discuss our marriage. I'm gonna set up a time to meet. Sir, these are the new junior designers. One of these ladies will cover your desk. I'm Haley, Mr. Townsend, and I'm at your service. Whatever you want, whenever you want it. And you are? Me? I'm Kate. Kate Abrams? Kate. That's my wife's name. Can I call you Jack? You cannot. I'm your boss. A word of advice. I saw the little stunt you pulled out there. Did I see correct, Kate? Haley, we believe in honesty at this company, so that's why Kate is going to be sitting at my desk. You can go. I won't be needing your services. You're lucky I let myself to find one person a day. Miss Abrams, get situated at your desk. We have more to discuss. Help me make a reservation for two people Wednesday night. Of course. Who's it for? My wife. There's something else. Very impressed with your sketches. I was wondering if you could design a ring to have this set in. I never got Katie a ring. I owe this to her at the very least. I would love to. Miss Smith? Yes, my client would like to meet you for dinner on Wednesday to discuss the contract of your marriage. He ghosts me for two years and now he wants to have dinner? Can't we just sign and be done with it? Not if you want all your inheritance. He wants to discuss extending the contract of your marriage agreement. We agreed to two years. Well, he'd still like to meet. I'll text you the address and his home number to coordinate, so please give him a call at your earliest convenience. What do you say to your secret husband? Hi, nice to meet you. Let's divorce? Hello? Hello? Uh, I'm looking for John. This is John's phone. I'm his girlfriend, you bitch. Don't call here again, you skank ass hoe. I guess that's why I haven't heard from him in two years. Why the hell do you want to stay married to me if you have a girlfriend? My landline just rang. Got a notification on my phone, but it got disconnected. Oh, yeah, it was just a spam call. Anyway, I was thinking of sending you up with someone. Janie, I don't want that. Okay, well, that wasn't a no, so I'm gonna take that as a yes. Since you already have a girlfriend, why don't we just get divorced? <laughs> Probably my husband's mistress calling to bitch out. Katie, I'm sorry. Meet me for dinner Wednesday. I'll explain. Maybe. Bring the papers. Also, don't call me Katie. Can I help you, sir? I have a woman meeting you. Can you see her to the table when she gets here? Her name, sir? She doesn't want to be called Katie. Kate. And you are? I'm Kate. Kate Abrams? If only she was the one I was waiting for. Can I help you? I'm supposed to be meeting someone here. You? Are you sure? <laughs> what name is the reservation under? John. Don't have a John. Uh, is there a last name? I don't know his last name. You're at the most expensive restaurant in New York. It takes years to get a reservation here. And you don't know the name of the man who's taking you here? He knows me as Katie Smith, not Kate Abrams. It could be Smith or Katie Smith. <laughs> Seriously, come up with a better why than that. Do you know what this mystery man looks like? Not really. Okay, you're going to need to go. Excuse me? We don't let working girls in a restaurant. 
So you and your John are going to have to find someplace else for your pre-screw dinner. I'm not a prostitute. Please don't use that language here. I, I swear I have a reservation. Just where is Security? This Security? Why the hell are you speaking to my wife that way? Mr. Townsend, your wife? Just by law. Sweetheart, I'm sorry I gave you the wrong information for the reservation. Give me one moment while I deal with this woman. Is there a problem, Mr. Townsend? This woman had the audacity to call my date a whore. I, I didn't know. What kind of establishment are you running? I want her gone immediately. Sir, please, I was confused. I didn't know she was your wife. She looked like a... A what? Were you gonna call my wife for her again? Not at all. Um, I'm sorry, Mrs. Townsend. I want her gone. Now. Yes, sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Townsend. Your meal is complimentary. If you have a seat at your table, I'll take care of this. Oh. You should be wearing this. God, he's really handsome. He's also really married, Kate. Um, um, Thank you. Do you need to contact your husband? Let him know you're running late? They should do that. He might be worried. I don't want to call him.